beautiful souls all over the world. I thank you for stopping by at my channel. Yeah, baby. How y'all doing? All right, so this is going to be about loves, baby. Because everybody loves loves. Um, three piles to choose from y'all. We have the love croc gibbet, which is beautiful. Shiny. We have the citrine, the raw citrine, which I absolutely love. I love raw stones. Um, and citrine is always for clarity. It's always good to have on your person, okay? And we have the rose quartz tower, which is gorgeous and beautiful in pink. And that is for love. Just self-love, a beautiful, harmonious love, healing, okay? Um, I'm going to do time stamps if y'all don't want to listen to me. Um, this is going to be about the person on your mind. We're going to figure a couple things out. Okay? So, pick one of these piles. Whatever resonates with you here. Also, I like to tell people, if you want to look at the timestamps, um, after you listen to this, because I know you will, you know, maybe some of those numbers will resonate for you. Okay? So, I'll see you in your pile, y'all. My beautiful souls. All right, all my beautiful souls that picked pile one. I'm using the Pulp Tarot. And let's see what's going on. How y'all doing and stuff? So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, let's start off with... Who is this person to you? You know, what about them? Why are they on your mind? Okay? And see if that resonates for you. We'll see if this is your pile. And if it's not, there's two more. <laughs> or many other videos. Okay? So let's see here. We have the Eight of Wands. I like these cards. They look kind of like vintage. Judgment. And the sun. Wow. This is beautiful. <laughs> Let's see how we can interpret that. Well, you feel that this person is the one for you. I mean, it's just period. This person makes you happy. This person excites you. You may be falling in love with them. Um... Yeah, so if it's, <laughs> that doesn't sound like you, this is not your pile. Um, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's take these up, give these a shuffle, and let's talk about it. So you love this person, or you feel like you do. Okay, this person does make you happy, and with judgment, you know, something, yeah, opens your eyes to their energy and when their energy hits you boy it was like the eight of wands there with those sticks a ton of bricks okay what's going on the two of cups what did I just say love the world the king of pentacles baby you could be asking about somebody you're already with um could be a husband, any gender, y'all. I'm going to say husband, wife, uh, things like he, she, but switch them any way you want. Um, and when the court cards come up, queen, king, empress, emperor, I'm going to refer to the names that are there on the cards. But energy is interchangeable. You know, we all have feminine and masculine energies within us, okay? So then we're going with that. This is someone that you may want to marry if you're not already married to this person. This person could be your boss. Um, you see the value in this person for sure. Um, you are ready for the next step. I mean, it seems to me. Let's find out about this person. Okay? So... Looks like you want to marry this person. <laughs> and or are already married to this person. You love this person. Now, I've seen that more than one card. What's going on here? The Nine of Swords. The Three of Cups. And the Two of Swords. Okay, so this person is... This person may have someone else. I'm just going to put it that way. And or they may have a choice between you and someone else and this is causing them anxiety okay 
if that's not the scenario, it could also be that this person has been hurt in the past where they were betrayed by someone and now um, it's hard for them to open up and trust. It's hard for them to trust their intuition. Even if a situation it looks like here with yourself, um, they don't know how to read the signs because by all intent and purposes, and I don't know if you're not showing it or you, you know, this person doesn't know, you genuinely have love for this person. Um, okay, so they've been hurt. How do they feel about you? The Queen of Wands, they're very attracted to you. Mm. The star, beautiful. The wheel, they do think you are the one. I, you know, I love it. I wish I had picked this pal. They do think you are the one. But they need time here. There's something that they have yet to get over. They're healing though here with the star. Okay. And, you know, you check off all their boxes here with the Queen of Wands. Um, they find you to be extremely attractive. Physically. <laughs> um, and they know that you're very intuitive here with the cat. But the wheel, it will turn in your favor at some point. When the time is right, this will come together. As long as this person can get about their head, you know. And I know from personal experience, all of this beautiful love shared between two people can be destroyed here by someone's mindset. So let's just get some oracle cards. See what's going on here. Let's get some romance angels. Let's see what's doing here. This could be the one. Didn't I say that, y'all? Synchronicities are awesome. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Guys, faith. Nine of Swords. I said it. If this person can't turn around their mindset, this may not occur, but positive thinking is what's going to help this situation progress. What else here? You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes. Someone, and no, this person was hurt. Now, you may have also have trauma in your past, but I don't see that in these cards um, stopping you from living. Okay. This person may have been deeply hurt. And you may have started your healing process here with the world before this person even attempted to. This person is a little farther behind on their journey than you are. So you're going to have to be patient with this person. I'm surprised I don't see temperance here, but you're going to have to be patient with this person. Um, let's get couple more cards. What can we ask? I mean, I don't want to ruin this beautiful... Um, you know, the thing for me is that it's very clear-cut. And I don't see the point of adding, you know, more... I don't want to say fuel to the fire, but I have... I know a lot of readers that will use a million Oracle decks, and nothing wrong with it. I'm not putting anyone down, but I personally feel, you know... You start going in different directions. You start muddying the waters from originally what's going on here. Two people that care about each other is what's happening here. One person um, needs to let go of their fear of being hurt again. Will they? That's the question. Here we go again, the Nine of Swords. That's the same exact card. The Five of Swords. So this is something that's really... The Six of Wands, yes. They will be victorious. They're going to go through it, okay? And they could be going through it now. They will be victorious. They are going to beat this. Um, you've got to give them time, okay? So let me just get some advice for you. 
Um, what should you do? While well, this person is going through their healing process, personal advice from me is to be patient with this person. Um, if they ask you for help, um, if they want to let you in on what's going on, by all means, um, you can give them advice and help them through the process because I feel that you've been you're a little farther along than them. Okay? Perseverance. Treasure. And unplug. Okay? So, it's saying, you know, don't put so much energy into this situation. Um, it's going to occur naturally here with treasure. Okay? Stay the course. Stay the course. This person is worth it. Um, but they have to go on this journey, this leg of their journey alone. You will circle back. <laughs> they will circle back here. Absolutely. You will have success and victory. And this person will have success and victory over their fears. Alright, so I hope that helped. Please let me know in the comments if that resonated. Mwah! And beautiful souls. Hello, all my beautiful souls that picked pile two. If you pick this a tree, this is your reading. I'm using the... Loom de la Universe Tarot. That's really pretty. Okay. So I think I'm going to do what I did in Pile 1. First, we're going to get some cards on why is this person on your mind? Okay. Who are they to you? Um, and this way, you can find out if this is your pile. And if it's not, please watch another one. <laughs> Let's go. We have the Seven of Swords. So pretty. The Two of Pentacles. Okay. And the Four of Pentacles. Alright, you know, this is someone that, with these Pentacles here, I feel you've been with for some time. You've had a rocky relationship this person may have hurt you in some way and or vice versa you know flip it however it works here this looks like an unhealthy um, trauma bond as opposed to a relationship so if that doesn't resonate for you then this is not your pile okay so that's what you're asking about this is the person on your mind is somebody that you are with um, and the situation you are in with them whatever that may be whatever resonates with you here is unhealthy and toxic let's see what's going on here the ace of wands the four of swords Nine of Wands. So, I, <laughs> I don't want to pinpoint, you know, and say, it, I want to keep it at, this is just an unhealthy relationship that you are trying to heal from here. This has been very wearisome for you um, or the other person or both. It could be that you're not you both don't say out loud and acknowledge, hey, this is a toxic, unhealthy relationship. But you both know it's there. Um, you're both hanging on here. I feel clinging to what the relationship used to be. Okay? But it through years, I feel, there's just been too many deceptions, lies, too many uh, strategically, uh, you know, too many people using a strategy against the other. It's like we're in a partnership and we should be, you know, 
as one, but we move as two. Um, but pretend we're moving as one. Does that make sense? You know, um, what else is going on here? The Eight of Swords. You feel stuck, or the other person feels stuck here. The Tower. But you're afraid to let that tower fall. And I'm sorry, I have to say, this is a gorgeous tower. You are not allowing this tower moment and or this other person isn't. And or, you know, the and or queen. You want this tower to fall. To bring in something new. Some type of new life, new vitality. And or to end it. Alright, so let's get some oracle cards. Uh, we're going to use the Eye of the Time Wellness. Let's see what's going on here. So it seems like to me... One or both people feel stuck in an unhappy, unhealthy, toxic relationship that's not really being acknowledged by the other. To the other. But I feel both people f feel intuitively know within themselves. They acknowledge it to themselves, but not to the other person. And certainly not to anyone outside of the situation. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's going on here. Wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So this is a marriage. An unhappy, an unhappy marriage. And with it being, you know, the words on this card here, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise, union, wedding, married. You know, with the nine of wands here, I, like I said, this has been years and both parties have been hanging in there. For these reasons. And like I said. Um, with the Ace of Wands here. Both of you are hanging on. Because there was this beautiful. Soul connection. You may consider yourselves to be soulmates. You made a promise to each other. This is supposed to be an everlasting eternal love. And it's not turning out that way. It has not turned out that way. Heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah. I, the synchronicities. I, I almost want to cry. Um, it's unfortunate, but... I mean, and this is specific. So if this is not your uh, situation, do not make it fit. Um, yes, both people are deeply hurt. You have the Nine of Wands still hanging in here. You have the Four of Pentacles. That's holding on. You know, that's guarding. That's a possessiveness. So you're both possessive over each other, over this um, relationship, this marriage. But in the same respect, you're mourning it while you're in it. In the same respect, you're grieving what it used to be and what it's not now. And that hurts, you know, when I feel sorry. I feel, I don't want to say sorry for you. Of course, you don't need pity. And I don't mean it in a pity way. I mean, I've been there. I've been in situations like this, unfortunately, more than once. Now, I'm not going to say marriages, but long, and, you know, we'll just say um, relationships that had some longevity to them, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that was being clung to by myself for all these reasons. So that's why I say I, I feel sorry and respect that I, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> um... I do, and I don't mean to laugh or make light of it, but it is what it is. That's why I do this. I do these readings, because I like to help people. I've been through a lot, trust me. Um, so anyway, enough about me. This is about you guys. So is this something that... Let's get some of these hidden um, truth oracle. Now, I really don't like to use these unless we have situations like this, because these um, tend to be... Four situations like this, to be quite honest. Let's see what's going on here. I bury myself in work to forget you. Okay. I couldn't let you get close to me. I hide behind material things. Okay, so... If you're married, and it's been quite some time, you have built... A legacy together you have properties you have you're intertwined everything is two people as one right so someone may be one or both may 
continue to stay in the situation because of the material things that they have together and can gain together and have already acquired together. And, you know, a lot of people walk around with their trauma, you know, because we have the Four of Swords here where healing is necessary. You know, this could be a situation where both people went in together with trauma, a trauma bond, and bonded. Um, because, you know, you attract. Your trauma attracts other people's trauma. You know, you attract just the right person to set off your trauma, and that person attracts just the right person that sets off their trauma. And that trauma bonds you together. And I feel that's what's happening here. Bury myself in work to forget you or to forget this situation, you know, to fantasize about something else. Um, yeah, let's just get one or two more. We will be together again. Okay. Just being near you is intoxicating. So, oof. this is either one of two things, and we're going to clarify that immediately. One or both of these people have somebody else. Okay. <clears throat> and they bury themselves in work to forget about this other person because they have a whole other life. Um, or, these two people are trying to work together through this trauma because we do have the four of swords we have healing baby um, to be to turn this unhealthy situation into a healthy one now we need to know that so let's clarify that and then we'll get advice okay so let's clarify that the six of hearts okay it's a soulmate card and we do have soulmates on the wedding ring here the Jack of Diamonds and or Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Diamonds and or Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands twice okay so it looks like both of these people you know it looks like this, this relationship is going to stay together but both people are still going to do what they need to do when they feel in the mood for something. So that could be with each other or other people. Okay? Um, I don't see this progressing past what it is already now. In the near future, it looks like it's just going to remain the same. Let's get advice. Advice for you. These are the soul awakening, the awakened soul. Okay, let's see. Sovereignty. Who are you? You know, to rule over yourself. Sanctuary. For me, that's healing. Ugh, cars getting all crazy. And solitude. And that's the hermit. You know, and sovereignty is freedom authenticity you know be authentically you and if that means after you've taken the time to really remember and find who you are because if you've been in a relationship with someone you can to you know commingle um and sometimes you're especially if you went in with trauma your dreams and aspirations of what you were hoping for may get lost along the way right start loving yourself start healing yourself start really knowing yourself and be your authentic self and then the situation is going to play out the way that you want it to you'll know what you're going to do from that point forward you know best of luck to you my beautiful soul all right, my beautiful souls, I picked Pile 3, the beautiful Rose Quartz Tower. I'm using the Shadowscape Tarot. I haven't used these in a long time. Today, they was like, you gonna use me. 
So, <laughs> let's see what's going on. Alright, I'm going to do what I did in the two previous piles. We're going to see why is this person on your mind. Okay, what's going on? We have the Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Wands. The Empress. Okay. That's any gender. You know, I'm going to say king, queen, he, she, you know. We all have both feminine and masculine. So, you know, just flip it the way that you want. Okay, guys? So, what's going on here? Why is this person on your mind? Because, number one, you feel that they're the person that you want to be with. <laughs> they're the one for you. They, like, check off all the boxes. Check off all your boxes. <laughs> Period. But, this person may be very good looking. Or it's going to be an earth sign. Um, or a fire sign. You want to offer this person something, a commitment. You want a commitment with this person. You want may all, also want to start some type of business with them. But there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition. You feel anyway, whether there is or not. Um, this person definitely commands an audience. Okay. They, like I said, could be very attractive and have a lot of other options. They could also be extremely intelligent um, and have other business. They're business savvy as well. So, you're concerned with, are you one of those people or are you that person um, that they're thinking about? Because, you know, I feel that there's some type of not knowing. You don't know. You may not even communicate with this person. Okay? So, if that sounds like your sitch, then this is for you. If not, I have two other piles, y'all. <laughs> um, so, let's see what's going on here. Who is this person? The Nine of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the hanged man. Okay, so we have fire, air, water out here. This, now you flip it any way you want. This could have something to do with work because we have people, right? Clusters of people around, but then we have, we, with the page of swords here, a can be considered a spy. And we have the hangman who just observes. So, there is somewhere, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be your job, it could be school, that you see this person um, and you watch them and or this person watches you. <laughs> okay, so let's figure it out. How does this person see you? What do they think about you? Are you on their mind? Strength. They may be holding themselves back here. If with observation and spying, holding themselves back from coming forward. The Eight of Swords, there's fear because they're afraid. The Knight of Cups, but there is romantic feelings here. This person feels the same way about you, you know, I feel. But you also may be like a counterpart to them, someone who is intelligent, someone who is attractive, someone who also has other options, okay? There's something here, though, with the Five of Wands and the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. And, you know, the, the Nine of Wands, yeah, I know I saw that. I'm not crazy. So, usually portrays one person surrounded by a lot of wands, which always makes me feel of other people. And the Five of Wands literally talks about other people. So this is some place that you see this person that's around a lot of other people. Okay? It could be, like I said, work or school. One or both of you are observing, just observing the other. There is romantic feelings here. Um, but there's a fear. And there's definitely a holding back here. There is desire. I mean, you're asking, I'm telling. All right, so let's see what the fear is. Let's get some clarification on that. What 
why is there a feeling of being stuck um, on one or both parts? Let's find out here. Let's find out from Shit's Creek. What's going on? The Four of Hearts, okay. The Seven of Diamonds. And Ten of yeah. Okay, so I feel like... There is two people that aren't even looking at each other. Someone is bored and someone is trying to figure out should they invest. Someone is contemplating, someone is reevaluating where they are right now. Someone feels apathetic perhaps. Um just in general, they try to pretend they don't care. Um, and someone else, I feel, tries to let the other person know. But a little too subtly, okay? Because we do have the pentacles here. At the end of the day, though, with the ten of hearts, I feel that this is something that would make them both extremely happy. I don't think either person here is trusting their intuition. There is mutuality here. Let's get some romance angels, cause there is something that is stopping this from happening. Okay? So let's see what it is. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Hello? It's two people that are stuck here. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Safe. There's the feeling stuck and afraid. Okay. So two people that may have been hurt. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I always feel like, especially this card always comes up too when it's like, we're perfect for each other, you just love each other, because you do. But I feel neither one of you believe it. There's something about this um, situation, if it turned into something more than just observation, that makes both people feel that it's just won't be able to ever happen. It could be that, like I said, if this is at work, one of you could be a boss or the other. Um, if this is at school, you know, especially if it's like college, right? Because I went to college in my 40s. So there's a whole age range of people there and you get grouped with people that you wouldn't normally be around. Um, and you do projects together and things of that nature. You get to know someone um, that you normally would not interact with in your environment or your community. Um, especially, And even at work, it's the same type of a dynamic. So I just feel that neither one of these people believe that the other person would want to be with them for the above reasons I named to begin with, right? Both people find the other attractive. Um, there are, everyone else finds these people attractive as well. You know what I mean? So there is a hesitation. And I feel like maybe a tad bit of insecurity here on both parts. Okay? So let's just get advice. Let's get advice from the awakened soul. This is cute. <laughs> um, you know, it's hard. It's just like a crush, like puppy love or something. I mean, and it could be more serious um, for you, but there's, to me, that I've, I feel it as an innocence. You know what I mean? So there could be some type of a difference here of any sort that may um, give people pause or here with the five of wands to be all up in your business or f have something to say about it. You're going to need the strength here. You're going to need this nine of wands resilient energy um, to be in this relationship because... 
other people gonna be in it with you. <laughs> Period. People ain't gonna mind their business. There's something about the both of you I feel people like to look at or talk about. All right, so let's see. Advice. Surrender. That ain't that cute. The two wheels or knowledge. Unplug. And healing. You know? Work on yourself. If with the Four of Cups here, there's some type of insecurity going on on both parts, these people need to continue. And I feel like they have started, um, but need to continue on their healing journey here. You know, don't... I don't saying you're obsessed, but I mean, like, don't put so much energy into it at the moment. Um, just let it go here. Surrender to what it's going on in the here and now. Um, and, you know, work on yourself here. You will receive that intuitive knowledge on which way to go from here, okay? So best of luck to you. Mwah. My beautiful soul.